Hello everyone. Welcome to Red Dutch's Farm. I'm Mark. Last week was a busy week on the farm. A uh, week ago today on Friday, I mowed the west pasture with our new sickle bar mower. Uh, it took about three hours to mow about seven acres. And so I had hay down. Um, on Sunday, Saturday evening, I got part of it raked. And on Sunday, I raked the rest of it. And then on Sunday evening, it got a little popcorn thunderstorm came through and it got wet. Um, also on Sunday, um, Aaron, that I had told you about in a previous video, um, brother from another mother, uh, was here for about a two and a half day visit. Uh, he got here on Sunday evening. And also we had a woofer show up on Sunday evening. And... Um, then on Monday morning for, I don't exactly understand all the circumstances and what was going on in the guy's life, our woofer left, and um, I raked hay twice on Monday, raked it early in the day and it was drying good so I went back in towards the end of the day and raked it again, and um, on Tuesday we baled hay, there's 335 bales here. Uh, had three local high school boys that came and uh, helped us haul hay and um, in fact they did most of it Jamie handled a little bit I think on the last load and to be honest I didn't touch a bale of this putting it in the barn um, I bailed it all and and um, the boys put it in the barn so um, I'll take you around the farm and show you some other things that have been going on uh, bring you up to speed on on the garden and some things like that. Here are the chickens. We're probably a couple of weeks away from them being big enough to butcher. Our first ripe tomato on the greenhouse tomatoes. And these tomatoes are taller than I am. And then we have an eggplant and a couple of pots of peppers. And there's still some things that I would like to do in here. I'd like to try some cucumbers and some peppers here in the greenhouse before the season's over. Second planting on the corn. And we finally got three quarters of a stand, a decent enough stand. Last year I got it too thick, and this year I had trouble getting it to come up, but uh, it will be fine. And then coming on across, this row here is a row of cucumbers, and then off the end of that is yellow zucchini, green zucchini, and summer squash. This row is eggplant and peppers, and as you can see, the weeds, the grass kind of took the tomato patch. I got the first row here. The weeds pulled out and hoed, and all the tomatoes pruned today. Tomorrow, I'll get the rest of it. We have three foot black weed mat that rolls down between the rows and then cages. And the tall grass there, I'm just gonna take the weed eater and knock it down so that the weed mat will lay and that'll take care of that problem and we'll get uh, get this tomato patch shaped up that was kind of on the list of things when we had a woofer here and since we don't have why well, I have to jump in and get it done need to get a cultivator through the beans they're looking good I've cultivated them once uh, we had rain last night and then we had a little shower again this afternoon, so I can't say that it's muddy, but it's plenty wet. And so the beans are looking good. This is two rows of Star of David okra, which we have never grown before. We always grew Clemson spineless. 
And of course I've got it too thick, but I always plant it too thick and wind up thinning it out. But I wanted two 50 foot rows and I only had 250 seeds. So I planted it all by hand. Here are some zucchini and summer squash and things that I planted from plants when it was so muddy when I planted them that my footprints would fill up with water and the hole would fill up with water. And I really didn't think they would amount to anything. So I haven't kept them weeded and it kind of looks like I need to get in here and do some things with those. That next row over is mostly winter type squash. All the way down. These six hills here are Cherokee tan pumpkins from Danny and Wanda at Deep South. Got two rows of onions here. And I've got more that I need to put out. And then this row here is brown cotton. And then here are the sweet potatoes. And they're starting to vine. And it looks like I've got a dandy crop of purslane, which is edible. Got dill weed here that reseeded itself. That's a little bit of an update on what's been going on on the farm this week. I uh, think things in the garden are looking pretty good. I'm glad to get... Uh, 335 bales of hay in the barn. We need about 1,500 total. The barn was completely empty. We ran completely out in April. So we've got a lot of hay to bale. I will try next time we bale hay to get you some video of, of baling hay. And um, it just always seems like it's rush, 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 busy, busy, busy whenever we get to doing some of these things. I know I am getting a a lot more respect for people like Danny and Wanda at Deep South that put out a video every day on Deep South's channel and basically every day also on Crazy Days to put out two videos a day every day and and I can't get three videos a week put together it seems like uh, really gives you a new appreciation for what they're doing with everything else that that is going on on the homestead so um, I will try to keep you updated and I sure appreciate you stopping by the farm today and thanks for watching from Red Duchess Farm. You all have a great day.